hi everyone today i am going to discuss about the important concepts on the chapter unit and measurement and one more chapter is motion in a straight line about these two chapters today i am going to discuss first of all i am going to discuss about the chapter units and measurement in this chapter the total allotted hours is 3 hours and total allotted marks is 3 mark here you may get one mcq question which carries one mark and one essay type question which carries two mark essay means short answer type question total three mark from this chapter you are going to get three mark in your annual theory exam here now i am going to discuss about important concepts on this chapter from these concepts you are going to get the questions for your annual exam 2024 here the first important concept is significant figure and second one is system of units here in system of units there are three types mks cgs fes means these three are the three different measuring units related to length mass and time and next one is dimensional formula and dimensional analysis next one is checking the correctness of equation next one is deducing the relation among physical quantity okay. here dimension formula you know that any physical quantity having the dimension formula and checking the dimension analysis checking the correctness of the dimensional equations means left hand side and right hand side you are getting we are getting the same dimensions and uh, deducing the relation means they are giving a formula in that we have to obtain the physical quantity these are the main concepts in this chapter if you prepare very well about these concepts easily you will get three mark now next one i will moving to the next chapter that is motion in a straight line motion in a straight line okay from this chapter to the annual exam you are going to get total 6 mark total 6 mark is there and teaching hours is 7 hours this 6 mark is distributed in different sections one is mcq type one question and which carries one mark and then one is long answer one question which carries five mark total six marks if you prepare very well this chapter you are easily going to get six mark in your first puc annual exam 2024 here now i am talking about the important concepts on which concepts you are going to get the questions for your annual exam first one is velocity and speed these are the basic concepts okay you may get questions on distance and displacement or you may get questions on velocity and speed okay that is one mark type questions mcq that is multiple choice questions and after that kinematic equations that too related to vt graph you are not going to get a question on integral method the important concept is vt graph graphical method okay. velocity time graph here kinematic equations okay. there are mainly three equations are there first one is v equal to v naught plus at where v means final velocity v naught means initial velocity a means acceleration of a body and t means time interval this is a separate question out of three you may get any one question for five mark long answer type questions means you have to derive the derivations the questions are like 
obtain the kinematic equations or derive the kinematic equations that is v equal to v naught plus a t like that co question you are going to get in your exam and second one is v square equal to v naught square plus 2 a x where v is the final velocity v naught is the initial velocity of a body plus 2 is the constant and a means acceleration of a body and x is the distance interval or displacement interval of a body this is also important uh, equation in this chapter on this equation also you may get five mark questions and third one is x equal to v naught t plus half a t square where x is the displacement of a body during its motion and v naught is the initial velocity of a body and t is the time interval plus half it is a constant number half a t square a means acceleration of a body t means time interval square of the time interval okay these are the three main equations in this chapter definitely you will get any out of three one equation you will get in your annual exam out of three we have to prepare all three derivations for these three derivations the diagram is same first second third one also same diagram you have to draw the diagram and you have to explain in sentence form and you have to write the mathematical steps for obtaining the derivations okay for each derivation anyone you will get and uh, the mark distribution is like diagram one mark diagram one mark theory two mark and simplification of steps two mark and final expression one mark like that the marks has been distributed if you prepare these three steps well, you will get total six mark in your annual exam here i am mentioning the only retained syllabus means the syllabus which is there for your annual exam and some of the concepts are deleted to this academic year i am neglecting means i am not considering that concepts why because you are not going to get questions on those concepts which are dated for this year academic year 2024 these are the mentioned syllabus for your annual exam 2024 thank you